Now, some call it the Monarch Project. I call it the Molek Project. Now, uh, check out this video. This video here. Actually, I got on this by going to uh, searching for freedom from sexual sins. It's a video by Steve Quayle. All right. Um, let me do this right here. Cause I got, I got some audio here. Okay, this is this video right here. Okay, let me see if I can move this over. But I have a couple of, um, okay, this one right here. Now, some people who I like, they don't, they don't know what's going on, but you, you know what's going on. You know, most of you probably have seen some stuff. This is this site right here. I thought there was a couple good videos here. Um, let's see if we can bring this this window up open again okay yeah the monarch Pro project i actually got caught up on this from looking for this other video video that i recommend it's a certain one it's for breaking that trauma-based mind control how, how how do we break this how do we gain freedom or liberation? This is the Shavuot, Melkam, uh, Shavuot, harvest, the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Okay, let's hold this right here. Okay, I'm um, actually listening to this in the, in the earpiece right here. So I had to pause a little bit so I can see which window is, is going forward. So I put this on pause right here. <clears throat> so there's this thing called ghetto gaggers. I, I don't want to even go into the explanation. You can use your imagination or you might actually know what I'm talking about. This is a continual manifestation or a continual um onslaught of uh, Willie Lynch and not just against black people, but actually against children. And, and you see a lot of these stories link with uh, child abduction, child kidnapping, you know, every day, hundreds of missing uh, boys and girls <clears throat> are reported and many of them are never found or recovered again. Here, Naga Kanya um, does a very, she did a couple of videos here that I happened to, I happened to catch. Okay, let, let, let's, right here. Okay. Okay, let's pause this right here. Let's pause this right here. Because many are not aware of this or pretend not to be aware of what's going on or seeing the connections between this and, and that. Okay. Okay, we pause that right there. Okay. Yeah, I had a couple of windows open on this and, and one win the window was not, we just got stuck. So I had to open this again here. What I'll probably do is I I'm going to take this right here. I might have to pause this and put this up as, uh, like, like with reggae when we would play, like, it was like false start, false start. Not that we intended a false start on this, 
but so many things are going on right here that we want to pause this, but we have a couple of different programs running, and it could be that we're getting maybe hacked on the other end, but we don't believe in so be it. It's just a, it's just a laptop, it's just a computer. Job will provide. Okay, let's 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 pause this right here. Let's let's maybe sum this part up. I, I caught when they said about Monarch Project, you, MK Ultra. I don't know if you've heard of that. Of 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 the princess. I call it the Barbie. It's the Barbie theme actually. And actually, that's actually one of the tags that we got to actually one of the hidden tags. That's in the, some of the tags when you put up the videos. If you put a certain combination of words, other tags will come up for that particular comment. It's all analytics. In other words, it's using um, sophisticated computer programmings to kind of keep track and to it's 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 uh it's the technology or the wisdom of the world. This, this technology, this this outside in technology. In other words, it's not really inside out because there's many who have dead spirits. They, they, their spirit is dead. And, and their spirit have to first come alive before they can even receive the truth. So many times when ones are, you know, finding certain individuals that are basically mind control slaves or Moloch, they're Moloch slaves because many of them were abused as a child. Many of, of, of you, of us, have been abused in different ways in this world. Because this world, as the scripture says, we're born in a world of sin. But what does that really mean in the true pictures? Counterfeit Christianity has really turned things upside down. There's truth in the word, but even the word has been subtly um, and covertly twisted. That if you really are not getting to the seed... You see, people talk about getting to the root of the matter, but the root is produced by the seed. So they're getting to the root, but they're getting to the evil root of the matter, and they're never able to uproot that evil matter because of the bad seed. We're speaking about the, the good seed. The good seed is the word of truth. And that's where the rubber meets the road. You see, what is, what is supreme within one's consciousness? Is it making money? Right? Is, is it money? And, and for the vast majority of people, especially the lost sheeple, that's the way it basically is right now. There are many victims. But what are we talking about here? I got on this subject matter because I saw there was a link to this like in the list of videos looking for freedom from sexual sins because a very good interview with a, a scientist who happened to be a born again Christian and he saw the connection between the true interpretation of the Bible and freeing people up from this mind control from this um it, it's it's uh it, it's like a sorcery, it's a witchcraft in real time. You know, when we say these words sorcery, rich, witchcraft, people look at these movies and they see these kind of movies and they see the the um the mispresentation of a lot of the matter or the the Hollywood hype. And you know, most of those movies they're basically intended to actually to actually continue this 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 assembly line right and it's not it's not an easy road for anyone in this world but especially if one is in a generational um state of downpression not oppression they're not pressing you up but they're down pressing you <clears throat> On the screen right here, you say, what well, says, truth, we must protect the queen, Queen Baz, Asha Hotep. Okay, this is one individual. They said right here, we are at war. And it's that simple. Instead of fighting one another, um, it says, write your vids, crack open the egg of truth. 
I will add you to my belt of protection with the use of my crystals as are all the women in my family. I am one. Well, this individual, Mr. Elohim, is taking is pro, proactive. When you first have to recognize that there is a war going on. You know, you hear folks talk about a war is going on for one's mind. And it's a very real war. Right? I wanted just to say that they call it the Monarch Project, but really it's the Molech Project. We have to get it right. So we're speaking about pornication. And people say, what's, what, what's that? Pornication? Yeah, people, you, you think it meant fornication in the Bible, right? You thought the Bible's talking about fornication. No, it's talking about pornication. In other words, the thing that we call fornication is really what you think is porn. Pornication. And there have been brothers and sisters who have had the spiritual trust and, and the, the honesty, the spirit and the truth to even say, yo, I got this addiction. You know, you know, one's recognized they got a sexual addiction. Not that, see, this is not saying that even sex itself and what it really is, but we have had our whole world turned upside down. Things have been all turned upside down. Right? And there's so much, um, of this filth that's out there. And most of, most folks don't talk about these things. They might talk about them with certain people, but they don't expose them. It reminds me of a verse in scripture which says, that we are not to um, have fellowship, right? We're not to have fellowship with the unprofitable things of this of this world, but to expose, right? But to expose them, and it seems as though many people don't even want to do that. They know it's a problem, but nobody wants to speak up because there is some. There is some um, material, some some materialistic um, goal to protect. L let me get this first right here. All right, yeah. All right, not to have fellowship. Right, not to have fellowship, but to, but to expose. Here, I want to show you this verse for yourself, and this is what we're going to endeavor to do in the next couple of videos. But I've been watching a couple of these videos where different people have been speaking out and testifying and and seeking to share what they can with. Here we go right here. You see this right here where it says uh, Ephesians 5, 11, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, of, of, of spiritual, psychological, and even physical ignorance. Most of these folks who are caught up in this, they really don't know. They really, they really, really don't know. They are, they are, so victimized, so traumatized and programmed that you're trying to bring a certain so-called logical reasoning to ones who are out of their mind. It says, but rather reprove them. Reprove what? Reprove the unfruitful works of darkness. This is not speaking of the victims because too often ones blame the victim. They say, well, how come black women are doing this? Oh, those black women. Well, who are they doing it with? Well, you see, there's white men and there's black men and there's, there's, there's white women and there's a whole bunch of people doing it. So, so who's really doing what? See, so it's easy for us to say, oh, this is a black and a white thing. And see, you're caught up on another level of the, of, 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 of the paradigm and probably not even understanding that that is a level of the paradigm. Now, the target of all of this Satanism and the enemy 
And the evil is actually the black seed, is actually black people. This is what black people don't even really fully get, and they fully don't understand this. And those white people who really have come to a certain level of a Christ consciousness, a true Christ consciousness, they recognize that true, all humanity is being targeted, like especially the black sea, the black people, the black people are in the eye of the storm. This is why this particular subject matter about ghetto gaggers and the black females who wish to expose, let's see if we can get the further title right here, who wish to expose, I think the further name of it is the Jewish Mafia or, or something of that effect right there. The Jewish Mafia. Let's see if we can bring this. This machine is mad. I got this other window. Okay, Mafia and Military Apparatus. And this is on Naga Kanya. I don't want to re, like, paraphrase what she says. I want you to check this out for yourself. She has a couple of videos, pretty full length, almost hour length videos, where she goes into certain, certain details. Um, of a, of a subject matter that does not even get talked about much. Yes, there are some ones and ones talking about um, pornography and sexual addiction, but who is talking about the fact that black woman and therefore really the black womb is being targeted, right? And, and the black male and the black female are victims of a attempt to kind of reboot the Willie Lynch post 300 years. See, Willie Lynch said what he said in 1712. He said 300 years, we're going to have to check this out. The 300th year was 2012, right? That's a significance for us, 2012. It, it might not be significant for other peoples, but then other peoples did not go through what our ancestors, speaking to this diaspora, speaking to this remnant, has gone through. And the entire human family is spiritually dependent on whether we fall or stay fallen or rise. And we're in a time of ascension, something known as the Black Awakening. You might have heard about this and there's different people. Some see it as a time of gloom and doom. Other people see this as a positive time of Christ consciousness. Why the two different opinions about one time? Because that's what Yeshua says about the resurrections, right? There's a time of the resurrection where some will rise to righteousness and they will shine as the stars of the heaven, such as these brothers and sisters who are going through great hell and high water and tribulation to bring you these sort of uh, videos and blogs and other, inf they're, they're risking their lives and their fortune to expose these unfruitful works of darkness, right? And we say darkness on spiritual ignorance, it's on my evil, right? Spiritual disenlightenment. This is what we're seeing because you stop for a moment and if you check out some of these videos that I've checked out, no doubt you know what's going on. You know, the only thing we can say about these things, oh man, that's crazy, that's crazy, that's crazy. No, that is spiritual darkness, right? Uh, that's like, that's like a spiritually deadness. People are so spiritually dead that you wonder why you can't communicate to the victims because you're not recognizing their victims. Most people look on themselves and say, well, I wouldn't do that. So you might have just been spared such victimization and they went for the next one. By the grace of John, you don't even know you've been spared because you are to speak out. You are to expose. You are to help those who are entangled, enslaved by the grace and the truth of the King of Kings and his Christ. That's what your role and responsibility instead of turning. Oh, why they're doing that? They're disgusting. I hate that because you allow your feelings, your, your unregenerated feelings and emotions to overthrow the potential of a Christ mind. With the Christ mind, you'll recognize exactly 
that these are victims, right? And black people, male and female, the most dangerous thing is for a black male and a female to to love and to found a family. Why is that under such attack? And the latest attack is the pornication, right? The pornication, right? They say fornication, we say pornication. That's the pornication right there. Now, see, most folks are too caught up on judging by the flesh, right? They say, well, I wouldn't do that because they might choose to do something else. Right. And people have their own little pet sins. You know, well, this is, you, you know, like like what they do, they find an excuse or a reason. What the other person does. Oh, that is wrong. That's going to hell. But what ones don't recognize you are already we are already living in a planet or on or, or in, in a planet in the world that is the closest that people have come to hell on Earth almost since the beginning of, 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 of time. I know folks say, no, that it, it must be much worse. No, see, that's part of the illusion. There's this wall of illusion because you pretend you don't see it. You pretend it's not going on, but it's going on because ones are not exposing it. And until it bites you, until Apophis bites you, you're not going to recognize that Apophis is out there. In other words, until the dragon comes out the water and, 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 and we pray it doesn't because a lot of folks are, are, are like in a la la land, you know, thinking that they're holier than thou, right? You know, anyway, let's get into this right here. I wanted to, to, well, I hope you was reading what's on the screen. You could, you could, you, you could steal it. This this one here I want to touch on right here. I want to explain this right here. All right, this is what I wanted to explain right here. Regarding this is from Naga Kanya's video, ghetto gaggers and black females who wish to expose the so-called Jewish mafia or the 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 Jebusite, the Jebusi, the Jiboch mafia and the military apparatus. Now, ghetto gaggers, this is some really um, dehumanizing and disgusting uh, pornication out there. Right? Ex it exploits traumatized, fatherless black girls. Lost Hebrew girls. They're products of poverty. They're products of dysfunctional and toxic communities. They're products of, for lack of a better word, white supremacy. But really, white supremacy is just a deception of the enemy, the devil, the enemy devil. And we're not saying the, the white man has been deceived. That it's not our problem that he's been deceived, but it's your problem if you don't understand what white supremacy really is and how white supremacy is really the deception of the devil Satan in its latest manifestation using his own traumatized mind control, white supremacist, so-called Jewish mafia, racist. He's using them. See, see, they think that they are the devil because you believe they're the devil. You don't recognize that we're dealing with lower... Uh, Lower density beings, some people say fourth, fourth dimensional beings, what some may call demons, what some might call jinn, what we know as, as Kufu Manafis and Aganint and, and Ganein, Ganein Noj, Aganint, right? They function according to mixed up moods and attitudes. They function according to dispositions of the psyche. The psyche can be likened to a five-pointed star, the soul, upright. When you flip that five-pointed star, you invert it upside down, you have the very symbol of the goat's head and of what is known in demonology as Baphomet and sorcery or their, their monarch. Their monarch is Molech. And one of the offerings to Molech 
are child sacrifices. And as with most uh, sacrificial systems, ones were required to bring the best offering, thus the victimization of the melanated black male and female children. And so how is it done? Well, when you study altars and triggers, and this is from in the no seven wordpress.com that Naga Kanya had put in her video here. And we want to read some of this and share some of this with you so that you'll begin to understand how this happens. We first have to explain what it is, what's going on, right? How we got here, right? What it is. And then we can explain the freedom from this this porno Babylon, this pornographic Babylon and freedom from sexual sins, right? Freedom from sexual sins. So let's explain altars and triggers. So we're going to deal with a lot of the science here. We got to deal with science, real world science. But now the cookie cutter or what now gives us the right context and empowers it is Adonai. Adonai is the iron, is the spirit, right? Is the iron, the Christ mind, the, the black messianic, the black messiah, the, the black Christ consciousness. That's what, that's what empowers the true orientation and understanding of the word as well as the applied science. There's science means knowledge. That's what science means. Go look it up. Science means knowledge. There's applied science in the scriptures. This is why they give you all this nonsense in the, in the religious Babylon, whether it be, you know, whatever the majority of the Christian denominations are counterfeit, right? They don't even understand the word, much less practice the word. It's like they say a hope and a prayer, right? It's on a hope and a prayer. It's not in the way, the truth, and the life. You see, in the way, the truth, and the life, there is, there is confidence, there is certainty, right? Because it bears the fruit. You judge a tree by its fruit. So let's look at altars and triggers. What, what do we mean by altars and triggers? Here it says, an easy way to explain this convoluted victimization, they say, of body and soul. I will reword this based on applied science it's the victimization, right, of actually soul and body. That's how it begins, the victimization of soul and body. And the soul and the body is victimized in those who have a faulty, a low, or a perverted spirituality, right? A false, a counterfeit spirituality. In other words, that evil spirit, and if I were to tell you that a lot of these evil spirits are actually being cast on the people in the majority of the churches, right? Because the majority of the churches are not, are not teaching the true gospel, the, the true gospel of grace. Because if one's knew the true gospel of grace it, and the grace and truth, it is a shield for the soul. And with the soul being spiritually fueled by the Holy Spirit and the spirit of truth, right? The spirit of truth, therefore the body, therefore has a protection. So the spirit is a protection for the soul, the spirit of truth, the spirit of grace, the spirit of life, the spirit of the black Christ. And then the soul, therefore the, 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 the restored, redeemed soul protects your body protects the body, keeps in healthiness. It's also the key to prosperity, true prosperity, right? So even the prosperity teaching in the churches is a perversion of the applied science of the Bible. It's a true science, but it's perverted only for the love of money, right? For the love of money. And we know the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. So in order to explain this convoluted victimization of the soul and the body, not body and soul, but soul come before body, is by looking at it 
as a complex computer program. In a complex computer program, you have a file, right? The file is the altar, right? This is created through what's known as trauma or torture, right? Repetition, repetition of trauma, of torture, of dehumanization, of humiliation, and reinforcing this torture, reinforcing this trauma or PTSD, post-traumatic slave disorder. This is why I connected it from the very beginning with Wooly Lynch. You see, you have to understand Wooly Lynch and what we're seeing from 20. 12 even forward is a how can we say is a, a hyped up is um almost like almost like the same thing but on steroids right it, it, it's been greatly um exaggerated right it's been greatly Enhance. I'm not getting the right, the right word. What I'm trying to say is from 2012 should have been a breaking point. And 2012 for some was a breaking point. But some broke free and some was broken and ended up in this porno slavery. Either as an active participant or as a passive participant. Either way. We are participating, even if one says, I don't even deal with that, right? And you try to avoid it because to you, it is so nasty, filthy, and disgusting. Well, then how do you think our Abba Father, how do you think the Black Messiah, Yeshua, how do you think he feels, his heart? Are you serving your will? You or your loved one may become a victim, and then you'll be interested to know what we're saying right here. Again, so I hope you download this and, and share this with others as well. Now, bring it back up. All right. Okay, this computer went, went black. 